Age of Earth is somewhere around 4.54 billion years plus minus 0.05 billion years. And there has been organisms living in the Earth for around 3.5 billion years. Now, Earth did not have oxygen at the start. So what these organisms breathed in at that point of time when oxygen was not there was a mystery. But no more. Scientists, it seems they have been able to crack through it. In Chile's Atacama Desert, in a place called Laguna La Brava, scientists have been studying a purple ribbon of photosynthetic microbes living in a hypersaline lake that's permanently free of oxygen. Scientists are saying that this is the only system on Earth where they could find a microbial mat that work absolutely in the absence of oxygen. So the question is, how did they breathe without any oxygen available to them? Microbial mats which fossilize into stromatolites have been abundant on Earth for at least 3.5 billion years ago. And yet, for the first billion year of its existence, there was no oxygen on Earth. How these life forms survived in such extreme conditions is still unknown. But examining them, researchers have figured out a handful of possibilities. While iron, sulfur and hydrogen were long thought of as possible contenders for oxygen, or the lack of oxygen, it wasn't until the discovery of arsenotrophy in hypersaline lakes that made arsenic also as a possible contender. So billions of years ago, long before oxygen was readily available, the notorious poison arsenic could have been the compound that breathed new life into our planet. While more research needs to verify whether the La Brava microbes also metabolize arsenide, initial research found that the rushing water surrounding these mats is heavily laden with hydrogen sulfide and arsenic. Also just last year, researchers discovered an abundant life form in the Pacific Ocean that also breathes arsenic. If this team of scientists are right, then we might need to expand our search for life forms elsewhere. Microbial mats are a great model for understanding some of the possible earliest life forms on our planet. Scientists have also said that if we are looking at the possible signs of life in Mars, along with hydrogen, sulfur and iron, we should also look at the possibilities of arsenic. So as it turns out, arsenic is more than just a poison. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment in both YouTube and Facebook. The channel needs your support to grow. Thank you.